You know what Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump have in common? Besides being outside the box type of candidates, they are both very critical and often quite critical of, of Wall Street, of, of hedge fund managers, of these guys who, at least Donald Trump has said, have more interest in creating jobs abroad and screwing taxpayers here than, than of anything else. That's something that is a fascinating development and could explain the populist appeal of both of these men. But, you know, uh, Charlie Gasparino, the one thing about right. Trump on this is it seems to be so counter to the so-called Republican base. Uh, well, it's not, really. And I would say now that Donald doesn't need um, uh, Wall Street to buy his junk bonds, he's, his, <laughs> he can freely his move casinos on. have defaulted on all those already. <laughs> but uh, now that he doesn't have to worry about that part, um, you know, he can, he, he, can, he, can, he can become a populist. And I will but say what this. What do you decide? He would penalize companies that ship jobs yeah, overseas. And he what wants to end and, and, and 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 the, and the uh, favorable tax treatment that, that right. private equity firms and hedge fund managers get. I will say this, though. gets back to the point I made with Dagan yesterday on the FBN. The rep a sizable portion of the Republican ba the ba uh, base does not care about capital gains taxes, the flat tax, and all this sort of esoteric stuff that Jeb and all these guys talk about. They care about real meat and potatoes issues. What do you and think of Trump that, Dagan? is resonating He there. just dissed you. Yeah. He's going to agree with me. We're going to take that outside of yeah. this table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I, I think that My with, money's on it, it's, very easy <laughs> to pick, it's very easy to pick on hedge fund managers <laughs> because they essentially just move money around, right? But if you get down to the nitty gritty, <clears> let <throat> them pick, I mean, it's easy for Bernie Sanders to do it, but let them pick on Wall Street because those are the companies that, that raise, help raise money for new businesses. Well, you know what's interesting country. about that, Charles Payne? He's, he's saying that Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, to a lesser extent, I should say, are saying, you're right, a lot of these Wall Street guys are greedy SOBs, and they have only their <clears throat> interests at art, not yours. They're right. And it resonates. They're right, to, and to Dagan's point, to a certain segment of it. Listen, I don't know how these hedge funds, who, by the way, for the most part, are a, a multi-billionaire limousine liberals, progressives. I mean, oh, Jeff yeah. Green's got a house on the market right now for $200 million. Who does it? Yeah, that's so... so I, don't think, I don't think most of them are. So, I think, no, I think well, I, well, let's say half and half. That's yeah. still huge. But I think the American public needs to understand, and I think they mostly do, investing in a great American company is not the same as Wall Street. And, uh -huh. and that's where it gets dangerous when Adam, we start what talking do you think about of all of them. From Trump's perspective, I think this is po populist nonsense. I mean, this is old news. We beat Wall Street down already. This is not, not the, the most funds. important thing. Not the hedge funds. But they didn't cause the financial right. crisis to hedge funds. It was the banks. Whether they you did know, or did it, we went after them so seven years old ago. News. So, old right. news. Let's Let's do you agree with that? This old news just bashing Wall Street no matter where you are? There, there's an issue here that never gets discussed. Hedge funds don't exist primarily for billionaires. Yes, there are a lot of billionaires in them. They work for college endowments. True. They True. work for hospital endowments. They work for pensions. pension funds. Yeah. They try to make this money to allow people to retire, to get education, to get medical care. They're not a bunch of pirates and maniacs just stealing <laughs> from the poor. They do not some steal. Are. They, they, their, their job mostly <laughs> is to help charitable organizations. Uh, that right. doesn't mean some of them are not bad people. And lately but lately they, they're they losing money. Yes, and I bet a, more than some a few are. are some uh, are. And I some bet you more than a few aren't. have a conscience, too. All right, I want to thank Charlie. I want to thank Dagan. Lou says this still can't be a September to remember for making money after this.